the Invisible Library. Irene, the main character, is talking to a fae who's the bad guy. Good girl, wait a moment. He walked across the desk and withdrew a key from his pocket, unlocking a drawer and rifling through them to find paper, pen, and ink. Where did he keep it? Ah, yes. He dropped a sheet of paper on the dried blood, opened a bottle of purple ink. Anyways, he writes out an invitation. We're having a ball at the embassy tomorrow. Here's a private invitation for you. Bring a friend. Find me there and tell me what your masters say to my little proposition. Remember that I would make a better master for you than the Cathedral of Reason. I will be everything to you, little one. I will protect and shield you. Now he's a fae, so he's putting on his glamour. And she says, I belong to, and in her mind she thinks, to the library. But she says to him, the Cathedral of Reason, she spat. Seducing me so I'll betray my masters will not convince them to form an alliance. So that's before the ball, and he signs it silver. Okay. Now, Irene has had... Um, she got her hand stuck into a trap, so she's actually injured. Um, she took a deep breath, wetted her dry lips, and invoked the library by her name and by her rank as librarian, speaking the words in the language, language with a capital L, that described it. Unlike nouns or other parts of speech, words that describe the library, in capital for library, or the language, capital for language, themselves were among the few parts of the language that never changed. So she's trying to invoke a spell of, I believe it's a spell of protection upon the room that she's in. As long as there's books, she can put up a spell of protection. But because she's injured, and the injuries were caused by a spell, the bandages covering her hands burst into flame. The shelves on the wall shuddered and groaned, wrenching from side to side and creaking like living trees in a windstorm, and the books tumbled crashed on the floor. Tossed aside newspapers and piles of notes rustled and moved, crawling along the floor in fractions of an inch. Um, fountain pen rolled away. Then, what the devil, Val burst in, carrying an enameled tea tray. What do you think you're doing? Anyways, uh, no, she dips her hand in the milk that's on the tray because her hand's on fire. He's in Val says, my books, my notes. <laughs> Miss Winters, kindly explain yourself. Irene considered a number of things. She considered fainting. She considered claiming that it was a magical attack. She considered just going up on Val or giving up on Val and walking out the door. Um, anyways, she finally just says, something went wrong. I'm sorry, something terribly went wrong. It was an accident. Um, so he sa so Kai says, what does it mean? And she says, it means I'm contaminated after all. She's a contaminated with chaos from the spell she got mixed up in. And then at the very end of the book, she's talking to, I, can, I don't know how to say it, Coppelia. I guess the lady's name is. And um, Irene managed a few confident paces down the corridor once the door had been shut safely between her and Coppelia before she purposely walked, purpose, before her purposeful walk slowed to a halting stumble. Kai frowned and offered her his arm. Maybe he really thought she was that badly injured or possibly possessiveness was a characteristic a draconic affection. They were supposed to be hoarders after all, not so different from librarians. She certainly wasn't going to run away. She had questions to ask and answers to find. She just hoped she lived long enough to enjoy it. And that's the end of the book. And then they give a little review here from the next book called The Mass City that came out 2016. Actually, I haven't even read this little insert yet because I'm not sure our library has the next book. 
and I want to find out first. Uh, here's a little ending part too to it. I have to read it too. Hmm. Oh, there was one final blow to his head, and then Kai surrendered to unconsciousness. So it does leave you um, hanging. In some ways, it leaves you hanging for the next book. Just so you know. Oh. <laughs>